This is Techno 901, episode 86, watching TV online. I'm Michael Fassmar. And I'm Joe Burton. And today we're going to talk to you about watching TV online. Right, so this is both old and new television shows, like old classic shows, or even new shows that just aired the other day online. Either if you, um, you know, if you want to watch it again, you don't have a DVR, or maybe you don't even have cable subscription, you can just watch it online. And we'll show you both free ad-supported ways and also pay ways. Each show is available, or each show may or may not be available on each different method. So. Really, the problem with online TV is you kind of have to look around to each different place and know, you know, what's available at each place. It's not really there's one place to go. As well, um, sometimes episodes might take a couple days to get online, so if you realize you missed it and then go online the next day, it might not be there. You might have to wait a couple days. And also, sometimes they take videos down, so like after a week after it airs, they'll take it down, or maybe they'll put up a series, like Hulu will put up a series, two epi uh, an episode every week, but they'll take down the episode, so you can only see like the most recent two or three episodes, not the entire series. Um, that's mostly on the free sites, which is annoying. You have to check back every so often. Yeah, Hulu loves to uh, change up the full versions of movies they have posted. Right. You know, I find that frustrating frustrating. I think why not just post it, put it online and keep it online and then you know you have this huge catalog. But no, their model is uh, we're going to post a few free things online and then we're going to take them down and post a few more. So Hulu offers uh, several different categories of things like they have uh, Family Guy, they have House, they have... Right. Hulu is generally uh, it's a joint partnership between Fox and NBC and I believe ABC just bought in to the company, so they pretty much have NBC and Fox programming on there. So if you missed like um, this week's episode of Family Guy, just hit up, hit right to Hulu. As well, you can find old SNL and usual shorts directly on their site. They have some CBS clips on there as well, so uh, and some Comedy Central clips. So Hulu, I think, is really my favorite. Um, my first stop where I look for a show because it has a really well done interface and it has content from a lot of the different sites. Uh, each of the major net, some of the uh, major broadcast networks such as CBS, ABC, NBC, and Fox, all have uh, a lot of their shows posted. Not the entire season, or uh, or the entire series, but relatively new episodes from the series are posted. Right, and so not every se every series. That's that's the major problem. I think. The networks pretty much have most of the series, so if you can't find it on Hulu, then the network site is the best place to look for recent clips. YouTube just started getting into the TV business. Um, if you, on the top of the YouTube page, if you click on Shows from the top of any YouTube page, you're brought to their TV listing. YouTube has primarily older shows, um, although I guess they're trying to get on to the current stuff. There are classic shows such as like the Dick Van Dyke Show. Push on there, but as well, there are some relatively new shows such as Dirty Jobs that right. are up here. Yeah. This is a listing of YouTube's official shows, so shows that people have posted officially on there. YouTube does not have a very good selection. A lot of times, people also post stuff onto YouTube illegally, and it may be up there for a while until it gets taken down. Uh, there are also illegal sites where a lot of people post videos from and they generally do not get taken down off there uh, so that may be your last ditch illegal hope to get the shows if it's not on one of the sites. Um, All right. If you're willing to spend some money you can actually go to somewhere like Netflix. Uh, they used to be strictly DVDs. Uh, you would uh, order a DVD, they ship it in the mail and you send it back and they send you another one or how many ever you had coming at you. Right. And then they started a um, an add-on party subscription where you could actually watch up to a certain amount of hours of movies online. Right. They now allow you to watch an unlimited number of uh, content online if you're on their most popular three out three DVDs at a time 
plus unlimited watching online at $16.99 a month. I think somewhere between five and ten dollars they have just watch online plan. Uh, and Netflix has an okay selection of movies online. They have everything by DVD, but on online they have an okay selection. But they um, are slowly adding more, so if you keep looking, some movies you might like will eventually appear. But they also take stuff down. Like Netflix, you might think, well, it's a pay service. Um, you know, why are they take stuff down? Well, they, they take stuff down too, so uh, your, you know, your movie may be on there one week, but it's not on there the next week. They also have older TV shows that have been released on DVD available to be streamed live, not the recent stuff. Um, in another easy way that's sort of like uh, more of a rental thing, anything is you can go to uh, iTunes actually is a thing that right. they started. Where you can, uh, it's sort of like an on-demand type feature, but it's based out of the internet, where you can actually rent uh, movies for a day. Rent movies or buy TV shows. I think they're a dollar ninety-nine an episode. Um, you can download them and watch them online. If you have an Apple TV, uh, a hardware box, two hundred forty-nine dollars, then you can watch it. You know, hook that up to your TV in another room, watch stuff without a computer, buy stuff. So they have a good selection of movies and a pretty good selection of TV shows for $1.99 each or less if you buy the whole season. If you're not a fan of iTunes uh, or it's not available on iTunes, you can check Amazon. Amazon On Demand is a um, watching service. You can They pretty much offer the gamut. They offer movie rentals, movie purchases, TV show watching, and you can watch it on the computer like in the actual web browser is like a flash thing where you can download it from Windows Media Player and it works on some port on some set top to boxes like TiVo or a $99 box you can hook up to your TV the $99 Roku box as well something that Amazon has that uh, not many have right now is they actually offer uh, such things as TV episodes in HD as well as movies in HD which not many people have gotten to making available yet right uh, I, I, iTunes also does the HD, um, and Hulu puts the occasional thing in HD, but not too much. Um, but Amazon is a good place to check if you're willing to pay for the episode and it's not available on iTunes or you're not an iTunes fan. Um, so th that's this, these are the all the services. So Hulu. The network's own site, YouTube, Netflix, iTunes, and Amazon On Demand. So each offers you know, a different mix of pay or free, watch on your computer, watch on your own portable device. Um, the iTunes and Amazon lets you watch on your own portable device. Different, some have HD, some don't. So, but the real big difference is some have some shows, others don't have some shows, the shows come and go, add and subtract it, so it's really a gigantic mess right now, you know, between the six different sites we mentioned, and it may not even be available on any of those. Also, um, some shows actually have their own third-party websites that they uh, strictly just offer one episode, and it's actually a, a complete series. Right. So, it's... It's just a giant mess, basically, um, of where you can watch TV online. But if you are persistent, you should be able to find it at least on one site or other. I think there are very few shows that are not available on any of the th things we mentioned, um, but there may be a few. Also, if you want to uh, watch a good show on HD, Tekken 911 is available on HD. Yep, 911.tekken.net, video podcast, which we didn't uh, cover at all. Thanks, Jordan, for bringing up. Uh, best place to look for those is the iTunes store if you go iTunes and then uh, podcasts you'll see there are a lot of uh, video podcasts we don't off offer the HD one in iTunes uh, but you can subscribe on our net on our website 911.tucker.net another good place where you can find TV that isn't actually shown on TV so there are uh, different options for watching your computer on your TV so um, one we mentioned a couple times it was Roku it's hundred dollars, and it works with things such as Netflix and Amazon. Well, it only works with Netflix and Amazon. So, if you have a Netflix subscription, it'll show any movie available on Netflix on demand, which, as I said, was uh, some selection of movies and TV shows. Definitely not all of them, and movies come and go regularly.
Um, another one is the uh, you can use TiVo, which is DVR, to uh, record programs that you're not going to be there for and watch them at a later date. Right. So and TiVos, which are not direct, you know, hooked up through Direct TV or Comcast. So TiVos you bought standalone uh, can actually also be used as set top boxes. They can also be used with the Amazon On Demand, just like the Roku box can be, as well as some other uh, TV watching services. Um, and then Apple has their standalone device, which you can get programs from uh, the iTunes Store. Right. So we said 220. We, I said 250. I meant 229 dollars. Uh, gets you this hooked up, and then you can watch anything that's in your iTunes account. Uh, in your iTunes and also buy stuff through the iTunes store. There is no option for watching free content over the Apple TV easily. And the final option you can do is to ha hook a computer up to your television. So you can either um, recycle an old uh, computer, which is actually what we do for Tucker 901. It's an old Dell from 2002 that we hook up to the computer using VGA cable, just like any normal monitor. Or you can buy a new computer to hook up to your TV, like a smaller size box um, for like $500, and then you get the full access. Um, pro the cons of that is then you have to do like updates and antivirus software, and it's just like a normal computer. So that's why a lot of people go with a set-top box. But if you do decide to use a computer, then you might want to find some sort of 10-foot interface to use with your device. Windows comes with one called Windows Media Center, and as I said, 10-foot interface, which is basically if you're sitting 10 feet away on the couch, you can control it with a remote, or and of course you can control it if you're sitting in front of you with a mouse. Uh, Apple has one of these called Front Row, which lets you just use stuff in your iTunes. One program that I uh, just discovered is Boxy. It's out right now for uh, Linux and Mac. It's in early alpha, which means it probably doesn't work very well, and we had some trouble getting our account validated. But once you get it working, you can control with a remote or in front of you um, content from the BBC, CBS, CNN, Comedy Central, WB, Hulu, yeah, Netflix, um, Revision 3 podcast. So I actually gave it my Netflix username and password, so that means it should be able to bring up uh, Netflix and you can stream from Netflix. So Boxy is also planning, or maybe not, I don't know. Um, there we go. No results found. Let's see. Uh, you know, so recommendations. Um, so there you go. Boxy also has plans of releasing this as a set-top box or releasing the software with other set-top boxes, like with cable or something. But it's just another option for finding TV on a computer. You'll probably have to keep your cable subscription for now because the uh, video quality isn't quite as high as cable, mm -hmm. and it requires a lot more work to find what you actually want to uh, watch on TV. Yeah, so maybe you know, in five years, you know, you'll be moving away from your cable subscription, and there will be sites like Hulu that actually have everything. Or maybe you'll be buying stuff a la carte on iTunes for like $1.99, because if you think about it, you pay $50, $60 now for cable, so if you only buy a show, you know, two or three shows a week, you could save a lot of money by paying $1.99 per show instead of $60 for cable. You but still won't get live or like sporting events, um, news, really, so maybe that's another reason to keep your cable. But uh, for right now, if you're stuck in your local Starbucks and you need something new while waiting for a friend, or if you're a college student that's really cheap and only watches TV occasionally, then check out Internet TV. I'm Michael Plasmar. And I'm Jordan Berlin. To watch this episode again, or to watch any of our prior episodes, you can visit our website, 911.tecker.net, T-E-C-K-E-R. And on the website, we have uh, our prior episodes, as well as you can view them directly on the website, or you can download them in WMV for Windows, iPod, or QuickTime format for your iPod or if you have iTunes installed, an MP3 audio only version of the show, 
and a WMV HD version of the show which you can download via BitTorrent that looks really, really clear uh, and in pristine HD quality. And instructions for downloading via BitTorrent are also on the site. On the right hand side we have more information about us and about each of the members of the show as well as quick links to all of our prior episodes and links to the RSS feeds for each of the formats that we release the show in and links to subscribe to the show in iTunes if you have an iPod, an Apple TV, an iPhone, any Apple device you can click on that link in either video or audio format. You can also in iTunes search for Tecker, T-E-C-K-E-R uh, in the iTunes store and then you can find our podcast that you can subscribe to free. Also if you do not have a, if you do not have an iPod, if you have like a generic MP3 player, then you can use the, uh, you can still listen to our show if on our website you subscribe to this MP3 audio version in a feed catcher, in a pod catcher like Juice. Uh, you can search for Juice on Google, download that program and then it'll load the shows automatically onto your uh, generic MP3 playing device. If you have any questions about the show or about technology, you can send us an email at 911 at tecker.net or you can leave us a voicemail at 610-572-2847. Thank you so much for watching Tecker 901.